Are you wanting to learn how to decrease your social awkwardness when talking to people, and more specifically girls? In this video, I give you some amazing tips to help increase your confidence when talking to people. Social skills can be particularly daunting for many people as they aren't skills that are taught like other subjects. This means people lack the confidence and the skills to do it. So in this video, let's look at how to talk to people with confidence to reduce social awkwardness and improve communication skills. Number 1. Use Visualization Visualization can be an incredibly powerful way to develop confidence and help control emotion in a particular situation, including when you meet and speak to someone. Many, if not all, top athletes and performers use visualization as a way to perform at peak levels, such as boxers who do shadow boxing before facing an opponent. The reason is that visualization helps motivation towards doing something you may find intimidating as essentially the brain doesn't distinguish reality from thoughts. Meaning if you visualize talking to someone, you've already sent signals to the brain of feeling confident with that person. I've used this myself, as when I was first going out to meet clients to offer consultancy, I would use visualization techniques to try and reduce nerves, which worked phenomenally well. Number 2. Change your physiology Here's a great hack for anyone wanting an instant boost of confidence. Change your physical posture to feel more confident, as this can have an immense effect on the brain. For example, let's say you feel a little nervous when meeting someone. Little things like keeping a good, straight posture, having your chin up and leaning back a little to have a more relaxed posture goes a huge way. The reason is, by changing your posture physically sends signals to the brain that you feel confident and good, so your brain reacts accordingly, such as reducing cortisol levels. As a result, your positional change results in you feeling better in that moment in time, and amazingly, it's not just limited to using it when speaking to a girl. Number 3. Make Eye Contact Probably one of the biggest ways to convey confidence, or a lack of it, is to make regular eye contact with the person you're speaking to. It can be easier said than done, but the thing is, it's a skill that you can develop. For example, try to watch videos and keep eye contact with the person you are watching, or use visualization techniques mentioned earlier. Often, the best way is just to practice, maybe with people you already feel comfortable around. The thing with eye contact is that it doesn't just convey confidence, but is a form of communication in itself, as you can express thoughts in that given moment. And it shows you're attentive in the conversation, which is vital when building a relationship with someone and showing them you're engaged in the conversation. Number 4. Use small talk People seem to think small talk is bad conversation, as it's fairly mundane and meaningless when trying to build a relationship and rapport with another person, right? No, the fact is, small talk can play a fundamental role when in a relationship, as it builds mutual trust between two people as they speak about common interests and learn about each other. However, here's the thing about small talk. It also plays a great role in helping you ease into the conversation, making it easier to adjust and therefore feel more confident about it. Think of it like entering a swimming pool, jumping straight in can be quite a shock to the system, but if you first take steps to adjust, such as splashing a little water on your body, it becomes much easier and more comfortable. Number 5. Take your time Here's the problem. Most of us speak too fast, and when you're nervous, we have a natural tendency to speak even faster, not giving ourselves time for thought. Now when you do this, what naturally occurs when you need time to think? You're more likely to use filler words like mm and er, uh, right? All of this is then conveyed to the person you speak to, meaning you appear less confident to them. So slow down have pauses for thought and articulate yourself in a positive way. Doing this, in addition to the other tips mentioned, will help you appear significantly more confident and less awkward during communication. Are any of the tips given new to you and if so, which ones? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, 
like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.